The Donkey Prince Long ago, there was a kingdom ruled by a brave king. His queen was generous and kind. But the royal couple longed for a child as they did not have one. The kingdom was in despair. After a lot of prayers, finally the kingdom was blessed with a prince. But alas, the prince was a... a donkey. The king found himself in a new despair. The only heir to his kingdom was a donkey prince. He cried and cried, but there was no answer to why has the queen birthed a donkey. Suddenly, a fairy appeared in the sky. Oh, dear king, this is all but your karma. In your younger years, you had killed an innocent donkey in merry playfulness, which is why your only son has been born as such. <laughs> I am so sorry. Punish me for my sins, but pardon my little boy. The curse was bound to you as soon as a sin was committed. I cannot reverse the curse, but I can help you. Each night, the donkey will shed its skin and turn into an actual prince. But as the morning breaks, he shall go back to his donkey form. Dear fairy, the people of the kingdom will laugh at us. Can my son not stay human during the day and turn into a donkey at night? I am sorry the curse cannot change, but don't worry, it will break someday, and your son will become a human forever. But no one knows how and when, but beware. For if anyone hears about this curse from you, then your son will stay a donkey forever. This is all I can do. Oh, king, and all you can do is keep faith. <laughs> Dear, I understand your pain, but he is my son, our son, and I love him for who he is, and will raise him to be a good prince. The wise counsel of the queen prevailed upon the king, and he decided to accept the donkey prince. He was named Theo. And as years passed, Theo grew up to be a handsome donkey with long raised ears. He would hop and jump the whole day. But in the nights, he would sit in front of his mirror and shed tears looking at his reflection. This is my fate, to be a prince and yet a laughingstock. How I wish to tell someone about my curse. But to be a cursed man is worse than being a donkey. They will run away from me. Ah. <sighs> That was mesmerizing! Oh, you talented one! Would you teach me how to play the lute? Oh, my dear prince, pardon me, but there is no soul who can teach you how to play the lute. For your hooves, uh, I mean fingers, are far too big. The prince was tired of abiding to his fate. He decided to take his fate into his own hooves, or uh, I mean hands. He played day in and day out until he learned to master the instrument. He was praised by everyone in the kingdom. Yay! 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 But that too could not content his deprived heart. <sighs> so one day he decided to venture out in the world. Deep in thought, he walked for days. Finally, when he stopped at a large iron gate, he realized that he had walked all the way to another kingdom. You humble fellow, I am a prince from a kingdom far away. Be kind enough to open the gates for me. <laughs> are there no mirrors in your kingdom? You are no prince. You are a mere donkey. Hmm, all right, sir, as you say. <sighs> I will take things into my own hooves. I mean hands. The gatekeeper was moved by his captivating music, and he immediately went to the king. 
Well, I have to meet him. <laughs> you must be hungry, you handsome donkey. Have a seat. I will not sit on the ground. Huh? Well, you are free to sit at the table with the men of war. I am not an ordinary donkey, but a royal one. I will sit with the king. What? Uh, oh, come on now. Didn't you hear him? He is a royal donkey. Let him sit with me. <laughs> Well, perhaps your highness would want to sit down with my only daughter, the princess herself. Well, your highness, I haven't seen anybody more beautiful than your daughter, and I would be honored to sit beside her. And so the donkey prince sat next to the princess. Although hesitant at first, the princess was astonished at how clean and neat the donkey kept himself. He was not only well-mannered, but also intelligent. The same royal assembly who laughed at his entrance was now astounded at his wise counsel. The king was impressed, and he invited the prince to stay. I would be honored, your highness. Days passed, and the donkey prince fell in love with the princess. La 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 la. Lu, 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 lu. But it wasn't enough. Ah, <sighs> I can't even tell her how I feel. I can't take this pain anymore. There is now but one way. You want to leave? But why? I have offered you everything here. Jewels, servants, rich clothes, but you reject all. Tell me, what is it that will make you stay? Oh, <gasps> your daughter. The king was taken aback. The princess, how dare he? But then he thought for a while. He was tired of his daughter rejecting all the suitors. And he was so fond of the donkey. Maybe this will teach her a lesson. And once she is tired of the donkey, she will have no choice but to marry a suitor of my choice. <laughs> All right, I am ready to get you married to my daughter. The prince couldn't believe his ears, but it was true. Soon the palace was decorated, and in a very private ceremony, the princess was married to the donkey prince. <laughs> oh, Princess, please don't cry. Your tears break my heart. If you wait for a little while, you will see who I really am. And as the moonlight fell on the donkey, his skin shed from his body, and from underneath it emerged Prince Theo. <laughs> Prince explained his newly wedded wife, all about the curse. The princess was so happy to see her prince that she forgot all about the donkey. Oh, Theo, you are the prince of my dreams. I have rejected all suitors because I kept seeing you in my dreams. If only I knew that fate had planned it all in such a way. Days passed and the king could see how happy his daughter was. He was confused and scared. Then, one night, a servant narrated what he saw while passing the princess's room. The king didn't believe him and thought to verify it himself. He was elated to see how handsome the prince was. The king left his daughter's room deep in thought. Ah, what is this light? Don't you worry, mighty king. Prince Theo will now be freed of his curse. All you have to do is sprinkle a little bit of this water on his donkey skin. The skin will dissipate into the air and will be gone forever. And the prince shall live in his true form.
home forever. The king did as asked and went back to sleep. The next morning... No, where is my donkey skin? Let's just say it is gone forever. No, what have you done? Now everybody will know about my curse. You have won people by your sheer courage and talent. You are a talented and handsome prince now. People might speak about your curse now, but they will soon forget about it. That's just how people are. And if you fear what the world will think of you, then you will never live happily. For you see, even when you were a donkey, we were carefree and bold. Be that from within, that's what matters. Oh. What next? Well, a grand party was thrown, and both the kingdoms celebrated the union of the prince with his princess. Prince Theo returned to his kingdom and was coronated. He became a great king and ruled his kingdom for years. And he was no longer called the Donkey Prince.